Hey there, how's it going? David in Arc with you, and today we're going to take a look at three different ways to record Beam NG Drive. Now, the first way is the easiest, in my opinion, and that is to simply use the software that comes with your video card. For me, I will hit Alt Z to bring up the interface, and from here, you can immediately hit Record, and then that'll start recording your desktop. Then you can go launch Beam NG. But a couple of caveats here, a couple of things to consider. Uh, one, you'll notice here I've got a hotkey. So I use the scroll lock key because I don't use it for anything else. So I use that as the toggle to record. So you can set whatever key combination you'd like to for that. And then also you want to look at where you are saving your video files. Ideally, you save them to a different drive than the game is on. So if you normally launch your games from C, then I wholeheartedly recommend get uh, an SSD to use for your recordings. That's what I do. I save it off to an SSD and uh, just have it set. In my case, it is to E slash vids. And that way it is not using the same drive as the recording. Once you've got it recording, then launch the game. You can play the game for a little bit. And when you are done, then you can either hit your hotkey or you can come back over to Alt Z, tell it to stop recording and it will stop recording immediately. So that is method number one short, sweet, simple, to the point. By the way, when you're done recording, then at that point, bring the video into your favorite editor, whether it's DaVinci or, uh, I don't know, whatever, um, Premiere, whatever you use for editing your videos, pull it into there. You can trim it the way you want to trim it and go forth. The second method is what I would consider sort of intermediate and honestly is probably how most people record stuff anyway, and that is to use software like OBS. So using OBS, you would come in here and we're going to go ahead and set this up as if it was brand new. So you'll come into OBS. I'm going to add a scene. And then once we add a scene, then we're going to add a device to that scene. In this case, we want to make sure that we add the display capture and you want it to capture whatever display you're putting on BeamNG. For most folks, it's gonna be the single monitor, so you just pick that monitor and it's good to go. It'll automatically, or should automatically, pick up on your game audio for the desktop and then your microphone audio as well, but you can go in there and you can force it to choose which audio you want. So I can force to choose it to use my headphones, and then I can also, uh, for the uh, for output, and then for input, my Yeti microphone. And then when you are ready, you can see uh, I have to make some adjustments on the screen uh, in order to get it to fit. So you might have to drag the little box around to get it to fit your output. Uh, but then over on the side, you see where it says start recording. I hit start recording, and then I can come down, launch BeamNG, and it is recording BeamNG Drive. After you've played the game and you're ready to move on, then at that point you exit out of the game, or at least I do. I exit out of the game. That brings me back to OBS. I can tell it to stop recording, and now it has saved my file uh, as well. Once again, you will want to pull your video file or files into your favorite video editor, whether that's something like DaVinci or Premiere, and edit that video to your heart's desire. The third method for recording is what I would probably consider one of the most complicated, and that is you would feed the output from your main gaming desktop into a capture device that is external to your desktop. So in this particular case, I am outputting this to an old Windows 7 machine that I use to convert uh, family videos from digital or from a tape to digital format. Um, but it just so happens I've got a little USB HDMI converter and I plugged it into the computer and it works. So uh, I, I would wholeheartedly recommend using a much better method, but it, this, this works in a pinch. So anyway, you get this connected, you get this hooked up. I am using old school Movie Maker and the way this works on this particular computer is I set this up as a webcam and so it is mirroring my screen and anything I do on my main computer is now being output to 
this Windows 7 machine for capture. You can see the resolution is all messed up. It's it's screwy. Again, not the best example, but I just wanted to show you that you could output to a capture device. There are plenty of uh, HD and 4K capture devices that are available. Prices range from you know basically thirty dollars or so all the way up to hundreds of dollars. So you know buyer at your leisure. <laughs> so, but anyway, you would at that point uh, record it on that device. And then at that point, you would take those recorded files, pull them into your favorite video editor, whether again, it's DaVinci, Premiere, whatever, edit the video together. And that is how you would record your Beam and G Drive videos. Hope this helps. I know it was quick and to the point. And I hope uh, if, if you missed anything, feel free to stop, rewind, go back, revisit, all that good stuff. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm David Inark. Have a great day.